Are we rolling? Oh, we're all, we all muck up. Or, uh, yeah, we are. We're rolling. We're rolling. Like, we're going. Um, what's he called? Fred Durst. Fred Durst. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, we're, I'm Baz. I'm Adam. Bay Monkeys. We're the Bay Monkeys. We're here right. again, look. Mike. Ooh, Mike. We've had a letter from a fan. We've had a letter from a Bay Monkeys fan. It's like the wide awake club. He's actually it? local. He lives just, up the, uh, lives just up the street and he very kindly dropped some beers off to, uh, to try and he's thrown well, down the gauntlet. He's, he's thrown down the gauntlet. Hang on. I'm just. He's, he's, he's thrown down a challenge. Uh, there's a lot, lot of words really. Don't involve he, running, does he? He's basically just asking Press us to try, try these beers and um, and give them a review. So that's what we're going to do. And this is two beers from Thornbridge. Um, I believe that? that these are a, a collaboration with other, other breweries, and we'll get into that. It's going to be a collaboration with Imminently. my mouth in a minute. Let's drink. Mm. Let's drink. That Some one? Friday that. Some Friday, I've had a few of them. <laughs> well, it's, it's a contemporary now. This is a West Coast IPA, seven percent, and it's um, it's gonna be. Uh, I, I can just tell. I think this is gonna be nice. It looks uh, nice. Nice cans. There's lots. Of, they're very, very. Um, it looks like some. Looks like ty some Tyson Fury would wear that. Doesn't it? Yep. It does. So this was made with a uh, in collaboration with Brew York. What is it? What does it say on there that it's best served with? Does it? Yeah. Uh, is it cedar plank salmon. <laughs> Uh, it's, which is which is which is fortunate because that's exactly what I'm having for my dinner today. See the plank salmon. Well, I, don't, I don't even know what that is. No, I don't either. Okay. Uh, this one says it's best served with Baja Baja Barca tacos with mango. They sound lovely then. It's, you're getting a little bit into cork sniffing territory here, aren't we? I don't know what cedar plank salmon is. Let's have a, any anyone who knows what cedar plank salmon Charlie is. Charlie Farley or not? He's, know. A, he's a well-to-do. Right, so we're going to drink sadly. Anyway, <laughs> well, here's what Mike Mike has to say about this. He said, Firstly, I would like you to comment. On uh, some Friday that, and secondly, carefully and respectfully open Pandora's box. Ooh. Smutty and amusing innuendos welcome at this point, gents. Oh, uh, underpants. Never, never. Right, anyway, here we go. Ooh, nice crack. Right. Here we go. Some Friday that. See, we, we recently did a festival uh, with what else we do. I'll the tell other, you what. The other thing we do in France. And um, backstage, they had a, like a kegs and a, a pump, just like some Euro lager. But needless to say, we we made it. Uh, for me. We made um. The we, we made use of that because we had to sort of pull our own pints, but it was free and uh, endless, so we pulled many pints, and uh, I got I got a bit better at pouring over the weekend. I tell you what, I must have a good job. They're not cheap. Five quid. Yeah, expensive. I don't know it. And, and uh, five pound thirty. Is, is I mean, I'm going to be more interested to know if that one is thirty p now than that one. Well, yeah. It's, that, it's, it's an odd extra. It's an odd extra little beast to put on there, isn't it? Thirty p. So this is a West Coast IPA, not really delved into the um, to to what that means. Uh, if I, if I'm honest, I'm not going to stand here and. I've had a few West Coast IPAs. It's an American thing, isn't it? Is it is American? Is it uh, right? So it's not the West Coast of the UK. It's not like Bristol or um, or Morecambe or Morecambe or um, Blackpool, Aberystwyth. Because <laughs> I know I know like the New England IPAs. It's that's East Coast, isn't it? That's like um, New Hampshire and Mibblethorpe, Vermont and. Boston. All, that, all that stuff. Yeah, Boston, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Boston's on the east coast of this country, mm -hmm. isn't it? I'll Different Boston. Wow, that's um, really bitter. That's not what it smells like. It is, it is really I kind of I like... I didn't expect it to taste like that. That's nice. It's full, full, full flavoured. It's got, like, some sweetness there, but it re it's mainly bitter. It's, it is quite bitter. I do like that. It's lovely. It's like a really light bitter, isn't it? If you go to a... a a boozer that sells like craft beer, and you have a pint of that, you go, bloody hell, that's nice. And then you'll have another one. You'll go, then you'll, hell, that's then you'll stand up to go to the toilet, and you'll go, oh, yeah, yeah. better slow down on these. Yeah. But no, that's uh, that's really good. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. It's really clean and sort of you know what, you refreshing. Know what? You know what I could just go for right now? Seven of them. Some uh, cedar plank salmon. <laughs> Is it not? Is it not just yeah? It's made, it, uh, some it has some cedar plank salmon, or even just just your regular, you know, un salmon paste sandwiches. Regular right? unplanked salmon. Mm. MDF planked salmon. No, the 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 uh, the key is right there. Do you got me rod out if you want? I don't, I, I don't think you're going to get many fish in that river. To Any no salmon in there? Maybe just a little brown fish. <laughs> some oh, brown otters and trolleys and uh, use rubber johnnies. Tro <laughs> Lovely. I like it that. I like really, that. It, it's super bitter. It's very. And uh, it tastes strong. You could you could taste every every one of those percentages in that seven percent. Really, yeah, I've yeah. had I've had like imperial 
stouts that don't taste as bitter strong as that yeah. and as bitter and it's like that's, that's lovely so good choice good yeah, shout fair play it's good 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 choice cheers Michael. Nice one, thank Michael. you thank you very much that's wicked that right so what are we on now oh, pandora's what? box let's open pandora's box this should be <laughs> pandora's box would well, this be this? This would be one that went with salmon, would it? Pandora's box. Here's what Mike uh, he kindly gives us some information about Pandora's box, the mythical, uh, oh, right. the mythical kind. When curiosity oh, leads Pandora to open a container left in the care of her husband, she releases physical and emotional curses upon mankind. Mm. I have never seen a beer with so much sediment in it. Wow. Yeah. Can you? Get that, get that over there. Look at that sediment. Look at, Ooh. That. Ooh, look at the sediment on that. That is that is a that is a lot of sediment. Pandora's sediment. <laughs> in modern times, an <laughs> idiom has grown from the story, meaning any source of great and unexpected troubles. So if you say you open in Pandora's box, you're in for a lot of you know Go a lot of bother, really. Yeah, that's you're gonna you're gonna need a thick, spoon to eat that. Do you know what didactic? Means for dinosaur, isn't it? I know you. I know you know what it means. Didactic. I'm going to explain it for those who. Yeah, of course I know what it means. Who don't understand mm. what it means? Didactic. It's an adjective, and it's intended to teach, particularly in having moral instruction as an ulterior motive. I don't even know what the explanation means. <laughs> uh, thank you, Michael. That is. Um, that is wicked. That look, look at that. Look. Incredible. Look at that. It looks oh, like jelly. It's like the sediment doesn't sink. It's that like sits in the beer. Can't really say. I've that never had weird. a beer that is that sedimenty. It, it doesn't sink, does it? It's no. just sitting there like it's solid. It's suspended. Like Has he poisoned these beers? Is he somebody from our past? Like <laughs> it's, this is Pandora's box, and this is made in collaboration oh, with, uh, with, sorry, with Neon Raptor. It's all right. Neon I'm Raptor. Two, I own two pairs of jeans. It's this fine. is a, a double uh, double IPA, D, D, e, D IPA. Is that where they've just put two IPAs together? Or it's not the double hopping, because I know that's called... That's weird. Right, let's try. Strange, you have a I'll stop waffling. I'm getting the light you, you can feel the, the sediment when you drink it. It's like gloopy, full that's, of bits. That's, that's, that's the thickest beer I've ever drank. Yeah, it's like syrupy. And it's even though it's 8% and it's stronger than the other one, stronger than some Friday that, it's it doesn't taste as strong. It doesn't. I don't think it tastes as strong. It's still got that bitter. It's still quite bitter. Quite a bitter taste. I'm not getting a massive amount of fruit in there, maybe. I'm getting... I'm getting like grapefruit, but not like super bitter grapefruit, like um, almost like it's off grapefruit. Is it, I mean, my nose is absolutely goosed. It's, uh, it's got a strange smell. Um, yeah. Not getting wet. Hey. <laughs> Big nose jokes. <laughs> the other one is way stronger. It's weird, it's like, it's like, it's like very fizzy as well. Do you yeah. know, I don't know whether, I'll be honest, I don't know whether I like it or I don't really. I've got a feeling that would taste different, uh, a very very chilled. Ah, for I cool. think if that was very very cold, it'd been in the fridge overnight. That I think that would be a different beer. Uh, oh right, serve at five to eight. So that is chilled then, isn't it? Five to ah, eight. Ah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what we're doing wrong. Back in the can. Sorry. It's still nice. I don't know. Maybe we should get my thermometer. That, that, that one was lovely. That's very nice. That's that's all right. But this one, this one recommends the same serving temperature as well. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's cooler than that. I would say these are just slightly warmer than that. I would yeah, say look at that setting. It's like it's like frozen in place. It doesn't move, does it? It's crazy. It's like a lava lamp. <laughs> Fair play for uh, sending us something that is genuinely new. different and new. Different and new. Yeah, never never had anything like that. Part of me. So that's Pandora's box with Neon Raptor and Thornbridge. You've opened you've opened my eyes to a new. Dimension yeah, yeah, of, boot, of beer. A new dimension of beer. Hey, look it. Thank you very much, Cheers, Michael. Mike. Much appreciated. Thanks very much. Um, Top, absolute legend. Like and subscribe, obviously, if you like what we're doing. If you don't like what we're doing, obviously don't. Yeah. Probably then don't then. It'd be a waste of your time, wouldn't it? It'd be stupid. Why would you do that? Well, I'm going to sit here and drink, drink the rest of that, and uh, forget all my troubles. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take fucking more than that, mate. <laughs> I don't know. That's seriously strong. <laughs> <laughs>